Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. I do believe this is the last game for this evening. Premier. Last game for day one, I believe, and it's set to be an absolute ripper. We've got two of the uh, strongest teams at the tournament. I believe they might be battling out for a spot in the lower bracket final tomorrow. So exactly. This is a do yeah. or die game. Um, it's set to be on Snake Water, personally one of my favorite maps, one of the foundational maps for TF2. You know, um, every pug, you play Process, you play Snake Water, so these, these players have no excuses. You know, it's not a, a uh, out of the ordinary map. Mm. Um, do you want to run us through the rosters, Freaky? Uh, through the rosters, we'll go through Exodia first here. Obviously, on the side of Exodia, Flank Scout is Gotaki, Pocket Scout is Sam, On the Roma is Pipeline 12, Pocket Solly is Homer, Demoman is Campbell, and On Medic is Hay. Then on to the next roster. And then on awesome. Frost. So we got Frost as the other roster. We got um, Elmo for the Flank Scout, Wills on Pocket Scout, Red Coat Roma, Alt, uh, Pocket Soldier, and then Parade Demo and Cows Medic. Both two very strong rosters <laughs> that are, are going to battle it out on this map here. Yeah, definitely. Especially on a map like Snake Water, so, like projectiles, demo, and soldiers are essential to have coordination, clear communication. Just the whole shebang on this map here to be successful and see one of these teams go on to the next one. Tomorrow. Yeah, these um, there's some great teams, and again, I'd, on the mids, it's yeah, as you said, demos and soldiers, and just sending those soldiers, trying to keep your medic alive while trying to kill the enemy team's medic uh, to try to get ahead. Um, I'm expecting to see yeah, both soldiers from both teams just go all out. There's some great players, and um, I'm oh. expecting it to be quite a close game. Should we do some predictions? You know what? Let's do it. I'm gonna say. Uh, actually, let's keep it. Let's run through some strategies. Obviously, Snake Water is one of the regular pub maps. Yeah. Uh, uh, not pub, sorry, pug. <laughs> P-U-G. Uh, yeah, definitely. It's like third pick, you know, process. Maybe second or third pick in the pug um, genre. But, you know, as you said, the double Solly bomb is essential here. Especially even not just the Sollies, but the team itself walking, like, aggressing onto the point. Because you can't just send, you know, your two best classes into their thing and not follow up on the damage. But, yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, Olive, you know, flank scout on top. But, yeah. Yeah, and we got a, a notorious last point as well. You know, hard to push out of and uh, hard to push into. You know, especially when teams set up the Highlander defense, you know, put an engineer with a sentry gun down. Mm -hmm. Heavy and sniper, it can get really difficult. But, you know, these teams are here for a reason. They are very strong Prem teams, and they know all the strategies, and I bet they've been scrimming to practice uh, ways to break them. So I'm excited to see oh. what they do there. I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> Not shivering my timbers, but I'm, you know, <laughs> I'm I'm shivering there. somewhere else. But, you know, talking about Sniper, though, we've got to talk about off-classes here. Oh, absolutely. Notorious map for it. Sniper, as you said, even Spy. Uh, God, what an engineer, but yeah. But, yeah, Spy, Sniper, uh, Heavy sometimes, a little bit. Look, if you want to troll a little bit, you go heavy. I know Gotaki likes to troll, so you might go spy or, you know, sniper. Yeah. So, yeah. This um, is set to be, uh, was I corrected before in saying that the, uh, this is for the low bracket finals, so do or die? Yeah. So we've got all the players up. We see the roster on screen now. Here we go. Uh, there Elmo's, is Will, Redcoat, <laughs> Alt, Perret, and uh, Cows. It's, yeah, a very strong <laughs> team, and <laughs> we've got some awesome <laughs> profile pictures here. Redcoat doing them. a bit of trolling. Um, yeah. But yeah, very strong teams, and we, I'm, I'm so excited to see this, oh, this uh, game. I'm excited too. I'm, you know, I'm, yippee! <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. But uh, yeah, Snakewater, obvious one, but we've got to talk about the other roster because we're talking about Exodia. We've got to talk about Frost here. So obviously, uh, looks like Elmo is the flanks out here, so, you know, the sniper still in the equation there. Could see a little SVS on last, pushing into last, sorry, you know, defending last, either one. Um, even such as like Alt Spy, I've seen him. Oh, the I, Alt Spy. He's dropped me a couple of times. I'm not gonna lie to you. He's dropped me on Spy. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah. If I uh, even um, on our little castles right here, there's Pyro. A couple of Pyros here from Redcoat Alt. <laughs> Love to see that. They're mains, by the way. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So hopefully, you know, it's not a complete off off classing Highlander mess. Hopefully, yeah. we see some, you know cookie cutter at TF2. Some people say, you know, they see too much of the meta, but the meta is the meta for a reason. And it's damn good and it's damn yeah, strong. Exactly. Um, and yeah, all these people are very experienced at their classes and um, definitely, definitely know how to put on a show. So, oh yeah, yeah, this is, this is probably one of the games of games of t tonight to watch. Oh yeah, this is one of them definitely, but uh, we'll, we'll run it back to predictions. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll do predictions. Hmm. 
I'm not sure. I think I might have to go for Frost. Uh, okay. Five. I think it's going to be super close. I'm going to go five four. You think it's going to go to five? Ooh. Okay. Um, I'm going to say four three. Exodia. Oh yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Got to be quirky. That's fine. We've got to go on the different sides. Yeah, the different yeah. Teams. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. As you said, incredible match, match up. Sorry, end match. Yeah, you'd be lucky to see it here live on Capping TV. You're yeah. down under. Yeah. Either way, it did, it did, whether it's the my prediction or your prediction, we both are on oh. the same page that it's going to yeah. be a close game. I think. Oh, 100 percent. These two teams. I don't know if you saw uh, before, but the bracket itself very close. You know, even the first two are like jumpy between struck mines, correct your struck mines, hey, and Suare. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then um, obviously fourth, fifth, it's all the lower page teams that are like clash. So I'd love to see it. Great content. Absolutely. And we should say, um, at this point in the in the event, the last last game of day one, you know, these players have truly had time to yeah. settle into their new setups. You know, sometimes people come to land, they get the land jitters, they've got to play on a new uh, computer, new monitor, even if they bring their keyboard and mouse and mouse pad, you know, it might not be the same as uh, what they're used to at home, the setup. Uh, but, you know, six, seven games into the uh, into the tournament, you know, they've got no more excuses now. This is as uh, warmed up and locked in <laughs> as they're, as they're going to be. As same. we... Uh, we uh, Look over the arena, ready for the uh, ready for the game. Exactly right. Anyway, the, probably they're doing soap DM, I presume. But uh, yeah, so obviously go through the predictions again. What oh, did you predictions again? Yeah, I'm gonna go five four to Frost. Four three to Exodia. Right. I don't think it's gonna go five, but yeah. you know it's land. Anything could happen. Anything could yeah. happen. Exactly. And yeah, you see on your screens, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen at home, the uh, Alienware Arena. We've got uh, a brilliant turnout tonight, and it's going to be probably even more tomorrow for the grand finals. Oh, um, these stands are going to be pulled out, and they're going to be packed. Um, and uh, it's it's a great venue, and thank you very much for having us, Alienware Arena. It's been yeah. absolutely fantastic. Incredible space, too. Thank you again. Yeah. Big shout-out. But uh, we should start very soon. Very soon. Um, so, how's your day been? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's been fantastic. This yeah. is I've been to pretty much almost every land in Melbourne, and then I can say without a doubt that this one's been the, the best so far, production-wise, quality-wise of the teams, tournament-wise. You know, it's just been absolutely so. Shout out to everyone that's come out and yeah. uh, and uh, made this production happen, and also shout out to everyone watching at home. Yeah. You. Thanks for watching. Um, exactly. And yeah, this is this is set to be a, a great end to day one and. Tomorrow we'll be back with even more action. I mean, I don't want to get ahead of the gun. We still got one more amazing game for tonight, oh. but I'm still excited for uh, tomorrow. Exactly. And uh, looks like we're going into map one. Keen as it been, some would say. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give it up for these two teams. The last game here, Snake Water. Boat demos rolling out. Looks like the default here. Altombo grabbing the pack. Let's see what the soldiers have entailed this time. Is it a double bomb or a delay bomb? Exodia is known for the delay bomb here. Let's see how it shambles up, as they say. Anyway, here we go. Red coats. Looks like the flank is dead. It is going to be a to Whoa. total collapse here. Pause. Oh. Quish Hello. Okay. Welcome back. <laughs> oh, we. Someone forgot to exec. Someone forgot to exec. Who is it? Be. That's never happened. Is it before. you, Gotaki? Oh, we'll blame Gotaki. Yeah. Um, that's totally fine. We're, we're mere moments away from the uh, grand final. Yep. I mean, not grand final, final match of day one. Sorry, it's been a long day. <laughs> long day of casting, long day of watching, but as I said, yep. absolutely fantastic game. Stuff happens, but, you know, got to roll with the punches. Should start very soon, though. If it doesn't, you owe me $10. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Him as well, sorry. <laughs> yeah. All, All right. right. He's, um... Do we want to talk about predictions for the first mid? What first people mid? are going to do? I'm going to say Exodia has first mid. Yep. I reckon, has first mid. I reckon we'll see a double, double high bomb. That's four soldiers Ooh. all flying across the top of the point. That's, yeah. Going for something crazy. It's like crazy. stars in the sky. Yeah, yeah shooting looking, rockets. Yeah, Hayes going to look up. There's like two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'm in danger. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. um, oh, spy and soap DM. That's where it's at. Yeah, we see a spy in the pregame. Oh, I mean, sure we get that stab. Happen. Anyway. <laughs> People might get warmed up for the uh, yeah. ambassador headshots. <laughs> He's on his main, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Should start very soon. Um, yeah. Yeah, obviously, big shout out to the crowd. Here we go. Should start very shortly since they're doing the losing animation there. 
Looks like he's hitting the gritty, though. I'm not going <laughs> to lie to you. All right. Anyway, what is your go-to Uber Eats order, though? Oh. If we're filling time here. Uber Eats burger? Maybe. Yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm Guzman Gomez. I love to get some... Uh, I actually had that for dinner tonight. Uh, <laughs> snuck out on the, on the dinner break. Because um, we're right in the middle of Melbourne. CBD. You can go anywhere you want for dinner. Um, but yeah, what about you? Oh, look, I'll tell you after this first mid. Yeah, enough <laughs> of that. Enough Here of we that. go. Part two, ladies and gentlemen. Fever Frost versus Ex uh, First one. Looks like Sam, the Cutter Scout, still on that little pot area. Looks like Default here waiting for the Soldier Bomb. There it goes. There's one. One Soldier's in. There he goes. Redcoats. It looks like even plays here. Pikeland dying with that sack here. Waiting for more damage by the demo. Waiting for it. Here's the push in call. Good damage onto the combo scat there. Gotaki cleans it up. Wills is also perishing. So is Cows. Can he get the medic? Hey, living on 50 HP during that. And is a total wipe, Mr. Avocado. Massive pipes coming out of Campbell there. Able to clean up absolutely everybody. And uh, as they walk on a second with nobody there. It is to believe that Hey did say that every time he dropped, he did take a shot. So, you know, love to see it here. Look, not. <laughs> love a good time. Here we go. Getting buffed. Both Sully should get buffed here, unless they're just taking it lowers to deny that sentry. Oh, never mind. Taking it right through the shot at all. They're going to use straight through. There's a level 2 sentry. Will's on his main. Popping through. post bit is. The sentry is still up during the U, but finally perishing. post bit is going to end on the left here. However, Sully is going to bomb the post here. Pipeline is very rolled. There goes both Solis again from the defense team. Frost is in trouble here. Bo all are alive on the side of Exodia. The heavy is up. Got to focus right here. Homer's on the bomb. Great incredible damage on Elmo. There goes Campbell on Pipeline. No demo on the point, but great cap time from the side of Exodia. And ladies and gentlemen, the first round to Exodia. They were able to clean that up very nicely. The double soldier bomb over the top was uh, cleaning up the heavy, allowing them to cap that point. And that was a, a nice clinical team. Uh, team push onto last to get the round as we go into the second mid fight of the game. Um, and we didn't see the soldiers flying as we thought, we, or as I thought they would, <laughs> but uh, anything's up to happen on the snake water mid. Here we go. Campbell throwing some stickers over the top, trying to get some early damage for his uh, soldiers to go off or team to pressure forward. Spamming forward here, the soldier looking like taking the high ground, taking the 1v1, red coat gets cleaned up by Sam. Just looking around, scouting up a soldier, seeing what ground they can get. Massive bomb coming in onto the demo. Ult goes down, Campbell sticky, and it looks like they're just locking out the mid again. And a, a successful second mid going to Exordia. Yeah, red coat dying very early there. It was only up to, you know, Mr. Parade trying to make some space there, but they just left, and obviously Ult getting caught during the end of that mid fight here, and it looks like second is going to be free to push, even though it is. On last, are we going to see Elmo on his main engineer? Where is that sentry gun being placed? I would like to know. Looks like the left hand. Oh, default, you know, anti sack. Here we go. Even Ubers. Who is going? Are we going to see a double sack here from Exodia or a single sack? Put your answers in the comments below. Like and subscribe. Yeah, Trying to get some space here. There goes Redcoats again. Anyway, one. There we go, the double sack. The sentry is still up. One, two, Homo. Skybox trying to kill that sentry. Does get it. Pipeline 12 dying. Does Homo live? He does on 12 HP. Elmo setting it up again. We've got even Ubers here, gonna get ready for some sack waves to come in. Homer looking like he wants to uh, jump through the top left, throwing down some spam rockets. We expect to see both soldiers throwing their lives away, trying to get uh, the red medic to force, um, and then they'll have the advantage to push into last. Looking like they're getting healthy now, just bouncing around, biding their time, trying to send the sack, trying to send some spam, get them low. Yeah. They're playing this absolutely uh, perfectly. Oh, we do have the sniper. We've got pipeline oh. on sniper. Oh. This is interesting. Soldier on the sniper here. No one's watching Cheese a little bit here, so I'd love to see what he picks up here. Even Ubers. Oh, surely go for the hero shot here, Mr. Pippi12. We believe in you, Pipeline. I feel like Homer is going to sack in here, and then they're just going to support damage with Pipeline take the hero shot. Yeah, make the space for Pipeline. Let him <laughs> go big. <laughs> you can do it. Here we go. 20 minutes, 30. <laughs> The front did justice. <laughs> here we go. Looks like sh near the shuttered door. Pipeline 12 hero shot. He knows he's in the dispenser. Takes a 50 cows. 1111 HP. 
Oh! oh! Destroys ult, but Sam in the process, though, do trade a demo for a combo scout. Parade still on the prowl, denying that space. Good spam into lobby here from Parade, just trying to get the medic a bit weak. Oh, actually followed up by Red Code. They get two picks somehow from that. And now they're looking like they want to move on to second. You know, two picks is one of the best advantages you can get to uh, break out of that difficult last, last to push out of. But they're coming out of bats, they're coming to point. Uh, spamming over the top, the demo is. They're coming forward, looking like they want to take a trade. Sam aggressive onto the point. Uber does come out, trying to get the force, but the movement is impeccable. Late trade, Uber coming out. It's going to be way better for Frost as uh, Sam is forced to run away. They barely get out before the Uber ends, and it's just going to be completely Redco even. Dying in that post Uber. They do have a soldier out here. Puppin picking him up early. Looks like Puppin's going to bomb over to the medic. Cows is not paying attention. Does get him, and all completely destroys the combo. Two scouts. Uh, very large P, no medic. All of Exodia is still up. Wills in Africa kills Sam. Wills is now perishing. Elmo in lobby 95. Does he get the soldier kill? He does. Homer dead unders. 16 HP and a dream. Yeah, that's good. That's what you need. Slow them down a little bit. Wait for your people to spawn. They're coming up now, but blue team is already in. Exodia trying to get pressure on the point. They're capping it up and trapping it off. Massive damage. Oh, old absolutely deleting everybody off the map. Holding off the point for his team. And uh, now they'll be able to push out of second again. We almost saw a coast to coast, but they are uh, fighting back. They're not going to go down that easily. Oh my god, that announcement. I thought someone was back capping. <laughs> <laughs> we got uh, old capping the point, but looking like they, they want more. They've got the player at the spawners to just come up, so they're just going to be holding second, trapping it up, and locking it down. 50 additional here for Exodia. Still one up. 18 minutes and 30 seconds remain. I'd love to see what they do, maybe through cheese, early trade through bridge. Gets air shot, oh my god, forces onto the demo. Great force from Hay onto Sam. Great air shot by Ray Coach though. Yeah, Sam coming into the lobby isn't able to find anything else with the Uber, but at least uh, now Frost will have 100% Uber out. We'll see if they uh, want to risk taking this out while they're one soldier down. It's a very difficult push to do. It looks like they're just dancing around top right, not quite sure if they want to go for it. Um, leading forward now a little bit. Looks like they're taking the Uber. They waited for their player. Very smart thing to do. The Uber comes out on oh. bats, flashing the soldier in. Homer's trying to get behind. He might be able <gasps> to go for a backup here. He has the pain train. This could be in trouble. Oh, He's on this lost. Could be big. Does he air shot? Come on. Ammo mod. Yes, he completes it. Time three on the cap. And ladies and gentlemen, what a back cap. 2 0 Exodia. Yeah, great, great heads yeah. up play from Homer there to yeah. try and leak behind the Uber and uh, with the pain train just get on the cap. Um, yeah, Snake Water, as I said, such yeah. a difficult one to push out of. So many doors to cover. Even with 100% Uber out, you need to play perfectly. Yeah, exactly. We're going into the uh, third mid of the game here. Both uh, mid so far have been very great for Exodia. We'll see if they can uh, pull out the third one in a row as Campbell throws some stickies across the point. Trying to spam that enemy demo, get some pressure for his team as uh, the red team takes some height. And uh, blue team looks ready to bomb. Homer going up into the skybox across the point. Sees the medic, sees his target, lands on a big kill from Woo! Homer and Campbell. Absolutely destroying that medic. And uh, everyone else seems to be falling. Soldiers coming in, Campbell able to save himself with the pipe. Throwing down some stickies, it's just an absolutely scrappy fight as the scouts are going shot for shot. And eventually uh, Sam and... Uh, wins the 1v1 and takes down Will. <laughs> Incredible bomb. Obviously Homer winning that last round with the backup and now just, you know, replaying that with that massive skybox bomb onto Cows. Incredible game. Play. They're taking this first, uh, they're taking hit middle point and they have full Uber ad ready to steamroll to second and last. They're, uh, they're looking hungry. This is looking awfully familiar to like the last two rounds. Yeah. Sentry gun in a new spot though, that could be big. Yeah. And uh, everyone else. Man. Sniper left spawn, see if they can uh, pick off anyone. Looks like uh, they're just getting ready to go in lobby. Might be from under, sentry gun leveling up and uh, beam building back right. They're not building Uber, I don't think they're trying to get. They're just playing in spawn, hoping to survive and uh, do, do good damage use. in the post. Oh, the Uber does come out. Post Uber is on the left hand side. Hay is still on that right side. Heavy doing massive damage, mowing down the medic, mowing down the scout. One more soldier over the top. Really low health, and then there's a uh, scout that's running away, tail between his legs, and uh, the heavy weapons guy is able to hold off the point as uh, Sam goes down in lobby and uh, Frost is able to push out. Fantastic hold there. This is where we. Oh, threading the back up there. Rotaki trying to threaten it. Does get shut down, unfortunately, and second is going to cap here. I'd love to see what Frost does with this 100% ad. Yeah, Will's leaning forward. They're looking like they're going sword. Double scout. This can be a powerful, powerful Uber. Demo coming with them too. Through sword. The soldier has spotted them, clap them on the catwalk, but jumping down now. The Uber has come out. Elmo killing people behind, shutting down the back cap attempt. 
They send two back though. Or do they one? But mid is half cap. They're originally going to send two. It is going to be a little bit of a chaos fight on mid. Losing both solis here. One goes back out, one dies on mid. Oh, I apologize. The Urban never actually came out and they still have add. They're going to second now. This is exactly what you want. Two players down. Blue is already all the way out. They might not even have to use here at all. They and have uh, to use it very soon. Or else it's going to, yep. There we go. Out to last. It is going to even out here. Yeah, even Uber's on the last. We'll see what Exodia does for the defense if they build a sentry gun and uh, uh, lock it down with the sniper as well. Exactly. Go Taki on that sniper. We did call a pregame here, so I'd love to see what is on offer. The fast bomb from both Solis here. Blocking out that left spawn. Alt dies. So does Go Taki. Parade killing the sniper advantage there. Big right. bomb from Homer up from under, somehow directs a scout, uh, get down Mr. President, save the medic from the 100 damage, and uh, looks like it's just going to reset uh, to that last hole. Scout walking through Shutter is able to pick down uh, Pipeline as uh, Elmo just going on every flank. Uber does come out, Will's leading the charge, trying to get time on the point, counter Uber on the point, blocking the capture as players are falling left and right, scouts on both sides, point post is, is going to be top right, soldiers going down, big bobs coming in, everyone just dying on point, it's a bloodbath. And uh, Sam's able to clean up the last two people, and it's just going to be a wipe, and they've successfully held last point. That's how it's done by Exodia. That was complete chaos. Elmo on the sniper, but yeah, that was complete chaos. After the first use from Frost going in, and the counter use, as you said, from Hay, yeah, it was pretty much over. It was just total chaos here, but Elmo on the catwalk site, looking to the kitchen. 150's Elmo, uh, sorry, Sam. But he's going to go lower or kitchen. Oh, Pipeline 12 does die, unfortunately, from old, but Elmo is sniping from lowers here. He doesn't know he's rotated, taking a little bit of spam on that midpoint. He's capped. Homer does perish. Elmo. Oh, Elmo. Elmo headshots the demo. Can we see another one? 50's him. 200 damage. Big damage from Elmo and Sniper, making them, taking the space and making them run away, you know. Uh, red team, Frost just able to walk in, but the Uber does come out. I'm not Whoa. sure if they know about it. It's big ad, and they're able to clean up a soldier in. Uh, kitchen, and then that's all they're going to get. Sniper is still hiding in kitchen. Kills Hay! Down now. He kills Hay! Massive shot from uh, the sniper taking down Hay. Elmo, fantastic work. And now it's just another chaos scrap fight on mid, but it looks like Frost is going to be able to edge it out. They're moving together as a pack, hunting down the final kills. Uh, soldier running away in lowers, trying to preserve his life for last. Gotaki on engineer building on Lars. This looks like a little spam angle here on second from Exodia. And they have to give it up here. Age of Dis, it is full disadvantage for the side of Exodia, the defending team. 12, 30 remain. We could absolutely see a, a successful Uber push from Lowers here. Yeah, they're going Lowers, trying to take the space they can in lobby and bust into last. We see some sticky traps around the point. Uber does come out, pop through shutter, bombing the demo into the spawn, trying to kill the sentry gun, goes down, locking them out, rotating over the left spawn. Big soldier over the top isn't going to be able to be cleaned up. Ult taking down two. Incredible capture right there. Oh Time my the god, point. that is 98%. It's a bloodbath. They need to lock down the point. It's and the demo and medic leaving lowers. Oh, so medic close. Oh, oh, almost oh. in with the massive back cap. I held my tongue, I spoke oh. too soon, it wasn't over until it's over, and it was over with a massive back hack from Elmo, bringing them back 2-1. The, this could be the comeback Frost needs here, the momentum, we are looking for the momentum, ladies and gentlemen, bots. 2-1, another mid-fight, mostly Exodia has won these mid-fights. Yeah, they've been very strong in the mid, but I've got a feeling Frost is going to switch it up, they're not going to let the same thing keep happening yeah. to them, as we see them roll out, uh, flank to uh, catwalk. Spamming across the mid, trying to get some good damage. Massive soldier bomb coming in. Was a fade. As our Homer goes in, onto the medic, locked in. In the skybox! Oh, Homer finishing up cows. However, Hay is still up. It's only a scout. Demo and soldier for the side of Frost. Jumping They're forward. Back. They're taking the space. They've won the mid. The first mid to go to the side of Frost. Playing it safe. Locking it down. And they'll, they'll take what they can get there. Um, yeah. They do have signif significant disad now. They need to try and lock down the medic. But from what I can see by those blue uh, people, uh, they're all the way back in their own whoa, lobby. Whoa, whoa. They're, coming <laughs> 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 they're coming forward now. Want to use this Uber through saw. They haven't used it yet. They're walking in. Don't want to be forced too early. He does use on the midpoint here. Can they clean up and get some kills? At least Pare is still on that off class here. Love to see a post Uber. There goes Elmo killing off Pipeline 12. Obviously trading his life for it. We got the Parade Sniper trying to uh, look down from lowers, see who he can pick off. Um, rotating the saw now. They uh, they need a pick. They've got a little bit of add, um, so a pick now would really let them uh, keep the ball moving. They've got two players to go off. 
and they're walking in. Elmo is down still, but they're taking it anyway. Traps have been spotted. They're looking to take a point. Sniper Sideline is locking everything down, and they looks like they just take that one for free. Exactly, but the backup though, we could see it. They're all the way going back. It is half capped here. Oh Everybody coming God. back for this back cap just to shut down one scout. And Incredible space made by that Gotaki. Gotaki Incredible. bringing it, the entire team back, pretty much saving what could have been around for the yeah. uh, team there. And now it's even Ubers on the mid, and they just had to trade. Uh, this Gotaki is definitely a same trade right now. Oh, they did get the back cap somehow. Oh, Reko's dying. Someone went behind. Oh. There's, it's chaos. In the way back, I do see them with that little X-ray vision. They're lowers right now. I do believe it's pipeline. Yeah, it is pipeline unders though. They're running back to last, desperate not to get back caps. That would be that would be yeah. atrocious. Uh, I believe they have cleaned him up or neutralized the threat, and uh, are just locking down on lobby. And he does somehow live. So from their own full Uber going into mid to <laughs> on their own last with even Ubers, that the back cap uh, was yeah. the flank running wild, getting a back cap there, doing great stuff. Gotaki really showing his powers there, not just as a flank scout but as a really good player. But here we go, two one even Ubers on this on Frost's last year. Cow's playing in the default spot. Yeah, Medic hiding in the corner there, getting ready for the uh, soldiers to come and try and sacrifice their life to kill him. Great spam. The soldiers are moving together as one, just bull bullying back the players and lobby, taking space, getting ready to send uh, send in and try and force that Medic. Are we going lowers here? Because we did see double Solly Bomb last time they sacked into last from lowers, where Homer got the skybox and killed the sentry. It looks like they're aware of it. They've got stickies in all the right spots. Tysac sentry does finally go down. I'm looking at the Solis right now. They've done the... Hay is still those 60 health. What happened? They were low. What happened? Soldier's still hiding in lobby. Something going down in there. They've got the sentry gun, so now they're wanting to sack. Soldier in from top right. Oh! Clean crazy. pipe from Redford to clean them up. Scout trying to pressure in, but doesn't get anything. And now it's uh, they sacked two for it, but didn't get the force. And now Frost is going to try push out. They're clearing lowers, they're clearing uppers. They don't want another back cap to happen. They're walking forward, and uh, uh, Parade might be finding a scout here on bridge. They do get that extra pick. That'll help them move into mid because it's completely even Ubers. These player picks uh, are what unlocks the game. Uber. Oh, Uber comes out. Massive pipes going out on bats. Both people invincible. It's just absolute chaos. Oh! Medic getting juggled in the skybox and eventually cleaned up. Uh, Campbell Stick is cleaning up wheels. Another soldier. from Homer does get cast with the help of Pipeline 12. Both perishing Sam. It's a 1v2. Clutch or kiss doesn't get anything. And now they, they cleaned up all the players, so Frost is able to go back to mid. That was an absolutely chaotic fight. We're seeing so many of those where, you know, the soldiers coming in post and getting those picks is what really makes the difference. Exactly. Gotaki almost getting caught lowers, though. Looks like it's going to be a little, you know, cheeky little 15 ad for the side of Exotia. 15 ad, I bet they'll be happy with that. You know, they're one round up, they don't need to take any uh, super big risks, but you know, it's not it's not like they've run away with a game, anything <laughs> could still happen. It's a, a close game as uh, Frost moves lowers. There's traps, oh! Oh, five people standing oh on traps. Oh my god. But they do get cleared eventually. Uh, flank looking at windows, trying to get in. Big bomb, bomb coming all. in. Oh, Sam just bullying the soldier Sam. and then gets bullied right back, cleaned up. Campbell just dies during that, there goes the blue demo, but most of the team is wiped on the side of Frost. It's only Cows and Elmo. Everywhere I look, people are just getting blown up. Yeah. I can't keep track of what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> I'd switch to a player cam and then boom, they're in a yeah. cloud of m m red just mist. Jam. Yeah. <laughs> jam. Yeah, so anyway, uh, Exodia is now on the front foot, leaning forward with their tiny 15% ad. Hasn't amounted to anything and doesn't look like they're going to take it. I bet they're happy just holding on to that midpoint. Now it's their, their uh, opportunity to try and force, force the hand of Frost to use that Uber. Keen to see even Ubers. Double sack, looking at you, Pipeline and Homer. Let's make it big. Yeah. Let's make it big. Go, you got to do this for Tan TF2. Got to get on the clip. Yeah, shout out Tan TF2. Yeah. As we uh, see Red Code locking down the saw area, trying to... Do you think they're turtling right now, or are they just, like, looking for information, not I into? Don't know. Yeah, I think they're playing it safe. Um, yeah. Pipeline taking some damage in, in saw, waiting for that arrow. I don't he think... finally gets it. Yeah, I don't think they're turtling. I think they just they don't want to yeah. go unless it's perfect, and they're waiting for that yeah. perfect moment. There we go. Oh, the there it is! Brilliant bomb from Pipeline, getting the force. We didn't even see that. Yeah, I didn't even yeah. see it. That's how slick he is. And uh, they're trying to pressure forward with that Uber. They don't get anything else, so Exordi's in a really good position. They just need to hold hands, walk forward together, and uh, clean up anyone they see. Exactly. Uh, Homer does get cleaned up by Parade on the flank, I think, and Sam taking down Elmo as well. They're playing this exactly how they need to. Someone's hiding in Saw, but I'm not sure if they're aware. Here he is behind now, getting absolutely minced by uh, uh, Exordia. You shoot the medic, everybody turns around. 
Gotaki perishing by all. Obviously, looks like the flank is out of commission for the side of Frost. But Frost is building Uber like a madman. They're already up to 60%. They'll definitely go for last. Maybe even second if they're any slower. Oh, I reckon this is last. Elmo and the sniper, they do have to protect him. Look, yeah, they Look, you got to know where Exodia is in lobby. If they're right lobby, sniper's all free. But if they just go through shutter, it's pretty it's pretty grim. But it, well, anyway, as I said, it's going to even out. Gotaki also on the sniper. We could see an SBS here. Elmo versus Gotaki. This is what the people Here pay for. Big sniper oh. battle in lobby, locking them down. Trying to get that fully charged oh, body logs. shot. Oh, oh medic oh. with the beam oh. slowly picking. Oh. That was so close. <laughs> <laughs> Freaky getting a little excited <laughs> on the mic. Oh, he wins the S3S. Here we go. <laughs> now we're going. Gotaki with a clean pick onto Elmo. And uh, yeah. that'll give them the advantage. No, Homer goes down to so it's still completely even players. And uh, I'm not sure if he'll spawn back up on Sniper or try it again. Prey leaking into lobby. Has a pick lowest, but there was someone behind him the whole time. 5 and 12. And Does. somehow wins on 7 <laughs> HP. Elmo on scout. Gotaki's still on sniper. Gotaki's still sniping. Elmo back to scout. He's on top of logs. Oh. Trying to find that uh, angle. Um, Red hook on quite low. Four minutes remain of the match. Exodia still one up. They, um, I think they're perfectly happy in this yeah. uh, in this position, turning on the pressure cooker, forcing Frost to do something, and Frost are being forced to do something. They look like they're coming lower. Going to get this Uber out. The pipes go out. Is saved. Oh, no. And people are dying in the Uber. Campbell able to clean up uh, the combo there and completely deny them, and that is not what you want to see. They're pushing into lowers now, walking forward as gotaki has got free reign on Sniper on top left. Well Takes dead. down the Medic with a... Oh! Absolutely beautiful headshot. Ammo mod Guardian. 3-1 Exodia, incredible round. That post Uber was incredible. Locking off that unders. Yeah. It's straight DM. They had, like, Exodia forced Frost to do something and just played right into their hand. Yeah, it's you like can't. you got Blackjack and the dealer was like, oh no, he doesn't. Yeah, you can't get nervous in that position and uh, try and force the hand, but also you can't do nothing. It's a, uh, it's a tricky situation yeah. to be in as we go into the uh, fourth, fifth mid fight of the game, and uh, stickies are going all over the point. We'll see if any soldiers come flying at Mach 5. Come look, oh, there is a couple. There's a couple of mosquitoes in the sky right now. Oh my god, Wills! Hello! W Wills has been MGing. He are uh, <laughs> taking down Campbell, walking forward. Big soldier spam going down. Soldiers are just all over the place, and uh, it's soldier and medicus two outs. Does get caught in kitchen, and they just get minced by Piplan twelve. <laughs> Pippi, Piplan twelve. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, get the clean, clean mid. They're gonna try go to second. Uh, maybe even get another round to completely oh. round it out. It's like a yeah, hundred percent. It's got to be a complete set. You got the rings, you got the necklace. Might as well go for it. Two minutes and 15 seconds remain. I'm looking at Pipeline. It's full ad. Parade does die very early, but again, two minutes in. Pipeline taking that free space. In behind. Alone. Big medic pick and the sniper. Oh. Why not? One oh. more. Add to the collection here. Pipeline 12. Hey, use this post to but One up. It's only the demo. Big right rockets, and they're able to uh, clean up absolutely everybody and get that fourth round. Four, one. Here we go. Logs, ladies and gentlemen, sponsored by Microsoft TF. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> look. Uh, look. Sam, 18 and 9. Sam yeah. going big, Homer going big with 18 Gotaki. kills. Yeah, Gotaki, 15 and 9. You know, 266, alt. Can only do so much. Sam, gonna be very similar to that. Yeah. Everybody in Exodia is above at least 230, except for Campbell. Unlucky, but he was, you know, supporting. 13 and 9, still pretty good. Four deaths from Hay and 10 from Kales, though. Again, 4 1. It is expected to have that high death, but yeah. Incredible, though. 6,000. Six, six damage total, though. <laughs> yeah, fantastic damage. Um, Old doing a lot, and that's uh, a lot for his team, but unfortunately, wasn't enough. Sam and Homer, as well as Gotaki and uh, Piplin, just doing great stuff, great kills and damage able to lock out uh, that game for their team. Fantastic work. Yeah, incredible synergy, communication. It, it was very much clear. They had that in the bag. They were locked in. They got their Uber Eats, you know, they got their burritos. They're ready. Oh, yeah. I shouldn't have told them that. <laughs> <laughs> My mouth is salivating. <laughs> oh, I'm ready for dinner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 4-1. Uh, it looks like Exodi is going to make tomorrow.
Chris Smith are on? No, Loa. Low bracket. Am Either way, tweaking? ladies and gentlemen, we will yeah. be back <laughs> tomorrow with more TF2 yeah. action as the uh, top four teams proceed. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, uh, that was an excellent game. Um, oh, as we go on to the, uh, the healing logs and see... 1,200. Hey, able to do absolutely amazing uh, 28k heals compared to 22. Just, um, you know, medics doing great. No no drops on either, in either side, uh, but 10, 10 uber charges compared to 7. Um, hey, showing the medic diff. Freaky, you know all about that. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> man. Nah, it's chill. It's 4-1. But yeah, that's a lot of healing, though. It's 10 meds, uh, 10 ubers to 7, though, but... Uh, Obviously, I'm actually looking at the advantages loss, and obviously the uh, deaths between 95 and 99 percent. There looks like none, so both played very well. It's just mid. It was just mid to last from Exodia for like three and a bit rounds. I'd say three rounds. Yeah, every yeah. advantage they got, they uh, made made successful. Um, they were yeah, really dominant team in that map. Really great stuff. Um, we see the heal spread here. Campbell getting 25 percent and uh, 22 to Sam. Yeah, 100 percent. So we'll uh, pass it down to our analysis, our nerds. Yeah. <laughs> with the numbers down there. Yeah. Show me the numbers. Yeah. There we go. Oh, Hang on, what? we're not the nerds. <laughs> we're not nerds. <laughs> wrong people, wrong people. No. Yeah, we're the jocks. Yeah, we know. We know everything's going on. Yeah. Here there they is. are. Beautiful Here's people. all the cutie pies. Ooh. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll chuck it to them. Yeah. I suppose. Yeah, onto the onto the post show with uh, these What's up? people. What's so, up? hey guys, how are we feeling, Wheels? Like shit. Like shit. No, that's <laughs> all right. Not very that's happy. All right. Yeah, it's all good. But um, so that was obviously not your second or third land that you've done today. Or well, done now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I um, I've been to four lands now. Actually, yeah. I haven't. I haven't missed the land. You're a, um, since I started playing. You're so. a fiend. Good yeah, I am a fiend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what was the um team mental like going to that game? Um, I think we anticipated it to be a close game. Um, we definitely knew it was going to be very competitive. Um, and I think after beating Fever Kids, we were kind of like pumped up. You know, we were like, oh, this is like a reality. We can, you know, make the second day and maybe even get third. Um, and yeah, we just, I think it was, it was good. Um, I was definitely nervous for sure. Um, yeah, I was nervous to lose. But other than that, yeah, good, good mental, good mental, yeah. So, um, well, because you came fifth, unfortunately, you'll be joining us with the casting tomorrow, won't you? I sure will be. I get m to do more casting than I anticipated, but um, I'm excited. Yeah, I love casting, so I'm, I'm excited to do it. Yeah. We've got Alt with us as well. Yep. You'll be around as well tomorrow, Alt? Well, I'll be casting. You'll be here tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. I'll be here to support um, someone. Someone? Whoever's winning, I'll support them. Whoever's winning. Nice. <laughs> who do you think is going to take it out? Who do I think is going to win? Yeah. The Chuck entire Mines. Um, Soiree. FMCL look, even? I was, honestly, I was very uh, impressed that they won on... Um, our pro lands. Yeah, that was. Uh, I really did not think. I thought it was going to be a clean sweep yeah. in reality. But so I think, you know, obviously I've casted a lot of their finals, um, and it's always gone the way of soiree. But I do, I do genuinely think that um, they they might be able to take it this land. And I mean, it's hype as well in front yeah. of everyone. You know, it's it's um, like a fairy tale if they actually end up winning. You know, they lose three game or three finals, and then they go on to win the LAN, like yeah. I think it would be very, very exciting, yeah for sure. We've got our standings for uh, day one, he struck mines at 7-0 and for the first day. Look what forms they're taking that win over Soiree in uh, round four on Pro Lands. Yeah. Soiree of course 6-1, and one. FMCL 5-2. and two. They, Those guys obviously scrimmed a lot against maybe your team as well, and then they came into it yeah. in third place and exited with that fourth place spot, going 4-3. Yeah. I believe Who's FMCL only losing the games against the two people above two them in the standings. Teams, yeah. Struck so Mines those, and Soiree. Those are our top four teams tomorrow, so we'll be seeing them at um, 1 p.m. AEST. Yep. Remember to tune in for our stream. It will start earlier, but the games will start at 1. Mm. We'll be in the same place, the uh, Alienware Arena, yeah. uh, proudly supported by Fortress Melbourne. Yeah, and there's our first um, our first match. is at Struck Mines versus FMCO, which we saw on our granary today at 1, yeah, 1 p.m. AEST. Obviously, here at the Alien, Alienware Arena, so, Arena, sorry, supported by um, Fortress. Alienware and, uh, Arena. Well, we know, yeah. Big shout out to uh, Marketplace.tf, sponsoring the logs. Use code uh, Aussie for 7% off all Australians. 7%. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Marketplace. Pretty serious. serious. And um, I think that's it from us. Yeah.
nothing else Sounds that good. comes to mind. So obviously, thanks everyone for watching. Thanks for all our players for showing up and the crowd, of course, you've all been delightful. Um, we'll see you all back here tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Lots of the teams yes here. Yeah. See you then. Oh, 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 oh,